I've put the base project on hold for a bit because, well, the paint needs to dry up on it and uh, before I start sanding it down. And it's gonna need a lot of sanding. It's, that, that project's just a mess uh, right now. But in the meantime, I've been working on the winter project, which I've already introduced. It's one of the two Stratocasters. Um, and that's what we're gonna be looking at today. This is uh, after two coats of black paint. Uh, if you see a pink shine on there, that's actually just a reflection from the tint uh, because I use it for painting the pink base, but uh, looks pretty good. I mean, this is just from a spray can. And uh, yeah, two pretty thin, quick moving coats. Look at how shiny that is already. So the next step is to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side of the guitar since I don't have a fancy a fancy jig to move it around like like some people do but you know when you live in an apartment it's not uh, necessarily easy to store big tools like that so I use what I got and uh, just to show that you can actually do this with other tools. But I gotta wait for this to not be tacky uh, so that I can actually flip the guitar over and paint the other side. So I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. It's time for a bit of narcissism. Put my uh, signature decal on all of my guitars. I did it on the first one just for fun. And then I kept the uh, I kept the signature that I had scanned and I just decided to reuse it and I ordered a, a sheet of these water transfers. I don't have a printer so I couldn't print one myself. And here we are. Now it's just become part of the build. Put it on like this but that would look weird so I try to cut it kind of like if you see an old fender or something they have their cut like that so start with a rough cut so you can see what I was doing there there we are I'm probably the only person that'll ever actually pay attention to this I'm sure nobody will look at the guitar that I make and be like, yeah, if he had only paid a little more attention with the cutting of the decal, it would have looked cooler. Unless, you know, I cut the decal in half or something. Which I came a little close to the edge right there. Cut some off the bottom. We're almost there. Let's 
because I said I shouldn't cut the decaf in half. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, because I said I shouldn't cut the decal in half, is what I'm trying to say. Um, now I'm a little nervous that I'm going to do exactly that. Doop. There we go. I could go in and try to cut down in between the letters, or between the two R's. But we're not going to do that. I wish I would have been finished with the base project by now, but uh, I tried so many new things on that project that eh, it was bound to uh, get messed up at some point, but that's okay. Uh, we're moving ahead with other projects and then thinking about how to best recover on the other one in the meantime. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit like to this video, and uh, you'll get the whole story.